Now back to our interview with Valeria Tasek. Valeria Tasek, it's great to have you here. We talked about the first segment, we talked about your family life first, we talked about uh, their role in your sports um, and your you know, competitive nature. We talked a, a little bit about your prayer life. Now uh, we want to talk about some fun stuff, you know, <laughs> you know just stuff that normal, everyday um, young people can um, relate to. Um, not that they can't relate to sports, <laughs> but you know, social media. Everybody is involved with social media. Mm -hmm. How has that influenced your life? And are there positives and negatives? Absolutely. You know, to social media. I think that's very important to cover. Mm -hmm. I think we've become more connected. Um, <clears throat> you move from one state to another. You're still connected with friends from your neighborhood. Um, I think it's very important to stay connected. Um, I also see it as a problem too mm. with, you know, the ability to like a post or share. Um, you know, some people find that validation mm -hmm. through, you know, X amount of likes. Um, and I think that could be. Um, a little bit of social media's downfall. We've definitely, um, as millennials, become attached to yeah. these phones and social media. Um, I think they're great because you stay connected and you get yes. to see what your friends are up to. But at the same time... Um, can it make us lonely? Absolutely. You think? Um, yeah. Because we can think, like you say, we can think we're so connected. Mm -hmm. We can think that we're connected to people. We can see how many friends we may have. but. We can be on, all right on the outside, but on the inside, can we be lonely? Absolutely. Through, so, through social media? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think it definitely um, gets rid of the traditional in-person conversations. I think it's easier to hide behind a screen and um, talk because we find ourselves yeah. um, less comfortable to speak and have that interaction with someone. Um, and I feel that we do find ourselves to be more lonely to hide behind a screen. So it's important to put aside our phones you know, oh, yeah. and pray. Like you Absolutely. said before, yeah. you know, we put aside our phones and really enter into this deep conversation with Christ. Mm -hmm. you know, how do you, I mean, in, in talking about prayer again, I know we already talked about yeah. that, but, but we can never talk about it enough. You know, <laughs> when, you talk, when you talk to Christ, I mean, do you pray the rosary or do you pray um, the mass, do you like on the mass throughout the week? Absolutely. You do I definitely confession? ask. Yes, confession is a beautiful uh, sacrament. I definitely ask for the graces um, for whatever God throws at me that day. Um, may my words be what you know need to say to whomever it may be, yeah. um, and definitely I think we're called to be missionaries. Yeah. Um, and and we're not perfect, and that's and, and that's yeah. why um, we have the sacraments. Mm -hmm. You know, we, when we mess up, like we mess up on the field, we have to ask forgiveness exactly. right, from our from our uh, mm -hmm. teammates. But when we mess up in life, we need to ask forgiveness from other people from, and God's mm -hmm. forgiveness. We need to seek yeah. that forgiveness from Almighty God. Absolutely collaboration is very much important. It's great to have that competition, but in life, um, collaborating and just being supportive of each other. Talk a little bit about your, um, your life too in, up in Washington. You know, your autism awareness and you're working at the Capitol. What is that like? I mean, to give tours at the Capitol, mm -hmm. what is that like? Oh, it was an honor. I'm very humbled to say that I've worked in our nation's um, Capitol. Um, it's been an honor and hopefully one day work in the political field. But it's, it's, it was a great experience. Mm. Autism Speaks was an amazing um, nonprofit organization. Um, and I'm very pro life, so uh, yeah. it's very dear to my heart to work with them. Yeah, and your experience with the Missionaries of Charity probably mm -hmm. formed that, and also Absolutely. the Sisters of Life. Um, mm -hmm. their, their joy and their dedication to serving the poorest of the poor mm -hmm. and also those who, um, women who have been hurt by abortion. Um, you know, how has that uh, formed you? definitely opened my eyes to see how yeah. beautiful Christ is and how he seeks that friendship with us. Um, such a friendship that he calls, you know, these, these women to have him for life and to serve, you know, his sons and daughters. And I find it to be beautiful that they uh, derive themselves in contemplative prayer, mm -hmm. um, daily mass and the sacraments. And I think their prayer life overflows into the way they share um, and take care of the people around them. Yeah. Um, you know, Mother Teresa, underneath the cross in her convents, you know, she, maybe you can share a little bit about that. What does she have? Absolutely. I thirst. Beautiful statement. Um, it's definitely about um, saturating um, Christ's thirst for, each, for um, each other. For souls. For souls, correct. You know, if you were to, you know, just tell young people, if there was something that you had wanted to share uh, with young people, um, what would it be? You know, I'm a big fan of C.S. Lewis. Um, one of his 
one of the quotes that sticks out to me right now is, try to exclude um, suffering, and you might exclude the possibility of life itself. Uh, C.S. Lewis is so incredible, you mm -hmm. know, where he speaks about suffering. Mm -hmm. You know, is there any suffering in your own life that you would like to share, Absolutely. you know, with, with our viewers that, that mm -hmm. you've overcome with God's help? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, we all suffer. We all have a cross to bear. Yes. And I yes. think um, the people that we have in our lives were put in our place to, you know, help us lift those crosses from our shoulders. I think every day um, yeah. we have sufferings, um, poor grades, or, you know, may not make a sprint at a certain time you want, um, but the support is always there and God loves us. And we can't do it alone. Absolutely. You know, we have other people to help us on the field, you know, of the cross field mm -hmm. in Ave University. You know, mm -hmm. you, have, you have all your friends to support you. Yeah. You know, we're not in this alone. Absolutely. You know? My friends are role models to me, honestly. Yeah. Thank you so much, Valeria, for joining us on Life on the Rock. Thank you for having me. God bless you.